So sometimes we need to take out loans to be able to pay for things, especially for big ticket items. So this section is going to kind of talk about how do you actually find out how much you have to pay for a loan or other information you might want to know. Um, again, I'm not going to show you where this formula actually comes from, but it sort of does come from the savings formula. Um, but your future value is zero because the whole idea is that hopefully by the end of your period of paying for it, your loan is paid off. So your future value would come zero. So we just care about what your principal is, where you start, what your payment is, and then this again is the regular rest of the formula that kind of looks a lot like what we've been working with. So again, principal, present value is your principal, what you actually started with. Um, your payment is your periodic payment. Usually it's monthly because usually loans are paid that way. Your R, of course, will be your annual percentage rate. N is usually 12 because we're paying usually monthly, but it's how many payments you're going to make a year. And then T is how many years you want to go for. All right. And usually T is in, in years. So let's take an example. Let's say you have a payment of $35 per month and your um, APR is 12.5% because loans usually charge you a lot more than savings accounts will pay you. And you're going to pay this for three years. So you want to find out what was your present value. Where did you actually start? So present value is what we're looking for. $35 a month is what will go here. Um, and again, you then put all the numbers in. 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.125, 12.5% made into a decimal, divided by 12 and then 12 times 3, and the 12 comes from the fact that you are paying per month, and it's 12 months in a year, and then over top of 0.125 divided by 12. Again, to create a round, no, to have low rounding error, you want to put in parentheses for yourself. You want to start with the 35, put in this big parenthesis, then you want the whole numerator done first, you want to put in this parenthesis, and then 1 minus, and then a parenthesis, 1 plus 0.125 divided by 12, Close that parenthesis so you can take this whole number and raise it to the negative 12 times 3. Again, put that in parentheses unless you know that 12 times 3 is 36, and you can type negative 36 yourself. And then close that top so that the whole top is going to be divided by the whole denominator. And again, you want to put the denominator in parentheses so you remember to do the 0.125 divided by 12. That gets done before you divide that into the numerator. And you found out that your present value is $1,046.22. So that's how much you took out a loan for. Probably not exactly because $0.22 cents probably wouldn't be a loan you take out for. So it probably is close to that, but that's how much this formula will tell you your, pay, your principal would be. Um, if you want to know how much was um, paid in interest, you take your $35 that you're paying every month, times 12 months, because you did it for 12 months, and then times three years, because you did it for three years, and that tells you kind of how much you paid for this whole loan. Um, that's your principal and your interest, so that's how much you actually took the loan out for, and how much you had to pay in interest. So if you want to actually know how much your interest would be, you're going to take your principal and subtract off your interest. And so, um, that means that you take this number and subtract off your principal, and that would tell you that you have $213.78 that you paid in interest for those three years. Um, if you want to know payment, because that's usually what you want to know, you know how much you're going to take out, you want to know how much your payment's going to be, we would rearrange this formula a little bit, kind of like we did with the savings formula, solving for payment, get it by itself by multiplying both sides by R over N, and dividing both sides by this denominator, this numerator. And so let's say we want, as an example, let's say you're going to take out a $320,000, you're buying a house, and you're going to make monthly payments, and you're going to choose a 30-year mortgage, so your T is going to be 30 years, and your interest rate you're going to get is 4.25% um, APR. Um, usually loans, short-term loans, have much higher interest rate than your um, than mortgages. Mortgages usually have a little bit less one because you're paying for a longer time period. And you want to know how much you're going to have to pay for this house every month. So your payment is what you want to find. So you use the payment formula. 
You put in your principal, that's how much your loan was for, was $320,000. Um, you're going to put your R value in of your 0 0.0425 and divide by 12 because, again, you're making monthly payments. And then um, the denominator would be 1 minus this quantity, 1 plus your R value divided by 12. And then you raise that to the negative 12 times 30. Um, again, you do need to have that in parentheses unless you know that 12 times 30 is, um, well, I don't know what 12 times 30 is, so it's 360. So if you know that that's negative 360, you can actually not put those parentheses in, but otherwise you will need them. So again, you're going to start with this number, put in this big parenthesis, put in this little parenthesis around this number, so you take this whole number divided by this whole denominator. Uh, make sure you close this parenthesis, and then you open this one, do 1 minus parentheses, so you do this whole quantity raised to this power, close all your parentheses, and you'll find out that you're going to be paying $1,574.21 for this mortgage. Again, you probably need to round this up, even though it's 21 cents, and you think, oh, I'll round it down. If you round it down, you won't have it paid off in the 30 years. So you need to actually round it up, so you probably pay $1,575. So now you wonder, well, how much did I actually pay for this in interest? So if we take this payment that we're making every month, and that's what you're sending to the bank every single month, and that will never change, so you're going to pay that for 12 months for 30 years, and that's how much you're actually paying for the loan. But you only took out a principal for 320000 So this, if you subtract this number minus the 320000 that you took out, you're paying $246,715.60 in interest. So that's kind of amazing to think of. It's close to, it's about half the price, well not even, it's more than half the price of your house, which is just an interest to the bank. Um, so let's say you decide, well, I'm going to go for a 15-year mortgage instead. Um, they will not be at the 4.25%. Usually the interest rates are different for 15-year mortgages. Let's say this... And usually a little bit less. And so let's say this one is 3.8%. So we're still buying the same house at $320,000. Um, put in your numbers in all the places that you can, except that you're going to be changing it to 15 years instead of 30. So this looks exactly the same as here, though your percentage is a little different that you're putting in, and then at 15 instead of 30. So again, if you know this is 180, you can just type in negative 180. Otherwise, you'll need those parentheses. And then you find out, wow, that... 15-year mortgage is going to have to cost me $2,335.06 a month. Again, you could round that to $2,336 sorry, $2 um, to find out to actually round it up a little bit so you make sure you pay it off in time. But that usually is just an idea of what you're going to do. So the rounding is not normal here. Notice it's a lot more than what you were paying before. But let's now look at this. The total cost of this loan would be this payment times 12 months, because you're paying every month, times 15 years. So that gives you 420000 $410,000.80. Your loan was for $320,000. So you're actually only paying 100, well, only, 100000 100, Three hundred ten thousand. Um, and eighty cents. All right, so a hundred thousand. Sorry, a hundred thousand three hundred ten dollars and eighty cents is how much you're paying in interest. So one thing you notice is you paid a lot less in interest than you did on the thirty-year loan. So some people say, well, I could just make extra payments, but some of us are not good about doing that. So if you can swing the bigger payment, it makes sense you pay a lot less in interest than you do for a 30-year loan. And that's how loans work.